Hi and welcome to the course of Pokemon Go game using Android Kotlin. In this series, I will show you how to create complete Pokemon Go game using Google Maps API. We will create the user which can be represented with the Mario and when we click on the user, it will show the current location of the user with the username. And from zoom out button, you can zoom out the map and see where the Pokemons are located nearby you. And from here, by changing longitude and latitude, you can change the location of the user. And when you will uh, reach nearby to any Pokemon, you can catch it easily. As you can see, Pokemon has been catched and your power has been increased by 65.9. In this way, you can catch the multiple Pokemons and increase your power and play a game. So this is an amazing game where you just have to move and catch the Pokemons. Uh, you can add multiple Pokemons as per your wish, uh, whatever you want and name them. For example, I had name here with the description how much power it contains. Uh, in this series, I will show you step by step how to add the Pokemons, how to add players, how to use Google Maps API uh, step by step. Hope you like this course. Keeping in mind for beginners, the course has been divided into 6 sections. The first section has been completed today which was an introduction section. The second section contains the setup of the project and how to use Google Maps API. And third section contains how to add markers with the image on the map which means we will add users and Pokemons to our map uh, at the particular location. And fourth section contains uh, request on runtime permission. Whenever we change the longitude and la latitude of the user, at that time the image of the user which is Mario should move as per the dimensions. And now next section is section 5 in which we will show the current location of Pokemons as well as user on the map. And last session is section 6 in which we will place the Pokemons and catch them by the user. So in this way we will create the Pokemon Go game by using Android Kotlin. Hope you will like this. For your convenience, I will upload the whole source code to GitHub from where you can use it if you want it. In case if you feel any difficulty while following my course, I will always be here to help you.